Who doesn't love some good old fried chicken? It's a classic, especially in the American South. And when you add in the iconic Colonel and his famous catchphrase, you get a brand that's known worldwide. Kentucky Fried Chicken, or KFC for short. Believe it or not, KFC's roots are pretty humble. It all started in 1930 in the front of a gas station in Corbin, Kentucky. Harland Sanders, the gas station operator, had a little hobby of cooking up some delicious chicken for his customers. But it wasn't until 1940 that he really hit the jackpot when he came up with his top secret original chicken recipe and perfected his frying technique using a pressure cooker. After 12 more years of hard work, the first KFC franchise finally opened its doors. And the rest is history. Today, KFC has over 21,000 locations worldwide, making it one of the most recognizable brands on the planet. And even though the Colonel himself passed away in 1982, his face still lives on every bucket of chicken and wrapper of double-down sandwiches around the globe. Have you ever heard of a unique Christmas tradition in Japan? No? Well, let me tell you about it. In Japan, people celebrate Christmas a bit differently than most of us. Rather than indulging on traditional turkey or ham, they opt for a Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC dinner. Yes, you heard it right. KFC. The phrase Korisumasu Niwa Kentucky, which roughly translates to Kentucky for Christmas, was an incredibly successful marketing campaign that ran in Japan in 1974. Since then, KFC has become a must-have for Christmas dinner in Japan. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, droves of Japanese people place orders for the Christmas chicken dinner, which includes bougie accoutrements such as cake and champagne. While sales of KFC might peak on Christmas Eve, the nation is obsessed with fried chicken year-round. It's no surprise that there's even a three-story KFC in Tokyo, complete with a full whiskey bar. Did you know that Kentucky Fried Chicken wasn't always called KFC? That's right. Back in the day, it was known as Sanders Court and Cafe. And if you like to learn about the history of your favorite eateries, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. The mastermind behind this delicious fried chicken was Harlan Sanders, who used to sell it out of the front of his gas station in Corbin, Kentucky. And let me tell you, it was a hit from day one. Now, the original location still stands in Corbin, and it's a fully functional KFC restaurant. But that's not all. There's also a museum attached to it that's dedicated to Sanders himself. How cool is that? It's amazing to think that such a beloved fast food chain started off as a small gas station restaurant. But with Sanders' secret blend of 11 herbs and spices, it's no wonder that KFC became the worldwide phenomenon that it is today. So the next time you're chowing down on some delicious KFC, Remember the man behind the recipe and the humble beginnings of this iconic restaurant. Did you know that KFC didn't always sell chicken in those famous paper buckets? Yep, that's right. In fact, it took them nearly 27 years after the original restaurant opened to start selling chicken in those iconic buckets. Believe it or not, before the advent of the bucket meal, Customers could only buy single pieces of chicken. It wasn't until one of the first KFC franchisees came up with the idea to create a meal in a bucket that changed the game for KFC. And boy, did he create a monster of a meal. The original bucket meal included a whopping 14 pieces of chicken, five bread rolls, and a pint of gravy. Can you imagine ordering that meal for yourself? That's a whole lot of chicken. But let's be honest, who could resist the temptation of that juicy, crispy fried chicken? No wonder it became so popular. And soon enough, the bucket meal became a permanent part of the KFC menu. Are you ready for a fun fact about the man behind the world-famous KFC recipe? Well, it turns out that Harlan Sanders, also known as the Colonel, was never actually a Colonel. Sure, he did serve in the Army as a mule tender, but he never achieved the rank of Colonel. So how did he become known as the Colonel, you ask? As the popularity of his delicious chicken skyrocketed, the governor of Kentucky, Ruby LaFoon, decided to honor him with the title of Honorary Colonel in 1935 for his outstanding contributions to the state's cuisine. Can you imagine being so good at making fried chicken that you get an honorary title? That's some serious talent right there. And we have to admit, it does have a nice ring to it.
By the by, have you ever wondered how much it would cost to get your hands on Colonel Sanders' iconic white suit? Well, let me tell you, it's not cheap. In fact, it's sold at an auction for a whopping $21,510. That's enough to buy about 2,510 piece buckets of KFC chicken. But the good news is, if you've got deep pockets and a love for all things Colonel Sanders, you might just be able to score some of his personal effects. In 2013, Kentucky Fried Chicken opened up bidding on more of Sanders' personal items for charity, and the starting bid for his Boy Scouts of America plaque? A mere $100. It's amazing to think about the impact that Colonel Sanders has had on the fast food industry and how his legacy lives on today. And for those die-hard fans out there, owning a piece of his personal history would be a dream come true. Now let's talk about the most mysterious recipe in the food industry. And no, it's not your grandma's secret meatloaf recipe. We're talking about KFC's 11 herbs and spices recipe. And it's so top secret that even Nicolas Cage in National Treasure would have a tough time finding it. So here's the deal. The original recipe is so hush-hush that it's kept locked up in a safe at the Louisville headquarters. And alongside it, they keep vials of the mysterious 11 herbs and spices that make KFC's chicken so darn tasty. Now, many of us have speculated what's in that secret blend, and some people even think that KFC's chicken is laced with crack because it's so addictive. But here's what we think the recipe might include. Flour, tela cherry, black pepper, salt, MSG, and sage. But you know what the funny thing is? None of this has ever been proven, and KFC is tight-lipped about the recipe. Would you be surprised to learn that Kentucky Fried Chicken got its name from the Kentucky fried chicken franchise? Well, it might surprise you to know that it wasn't actually Colonel Sanders himself. Even though Sanders was the one who created the famous recipe for the mouth-watering chicken, it was a painter hired by one of his early franchisees who coined the name Kentucky Fried Chicken. Imagine that. A painter came up with one of the most iconic fast food chain names in the world. And that's not all. The same franchisee who hired the painter also came up with the brilliant idea of serving the chicken in a bucket making it easier for customers to carry and consume on the go. Plus, he even came up with the catchy slogan, Finger Lickin' Good, which was used for decades before being changed to So Good in 2011. So while Colonel Sanders may have been the face of KFC, it's important to give credit to the creative minds behind the name, packaging, and marketing that made the brand what it is today. Who knew that a painter and a franchisee could have such a huge impact on the fast food industry? And that's a wrap, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed learning some fast fascinating facts about one of the most beloved fast food chains in the world, Kentucky Fried Chicken. From its humble beginnings in a small gas station to becoming a global phenomenon, KFC has come a long way, and we can't get enough of their crispy and juicy fried chicken. And now, every time you dig into a bucket of KFC, you can impress your friends with your newfound knowledge about the man behind the recipe, the iconic bucket meal, and how KFC became a must-have for Christmas dinner in Japan. But don't forget to tell them that the Colonel's secret recipe is so top secret that the ingredients are locked away in a safe guarded by a talking chicken. Which KFC fun fact surprised you the most? KFC is a popular choice for Christmas dinner in Japan? Or that it took the company almost 27 years to start selling chicken in the famous buckets? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel.